So when the pronouns are coming, uh, we have to now learn about the pronouns. Okay. What is pronoun, brother? In Arabic we call it damir. Remember? Huh? And damir is also ism. Huh? In the group of ism, damir comes. Huh? Why? It comes in the group of ism. Because it also has dundandin. Anything has dundandin is ism. Are you with me? Okay. We are going to learn the marfu form of isa, uh, damir. Marfu form of pronoun. We are going to learn. Marfu form of pronoun. Okay, we are going to learn. Now, pronoun is a word used as a substitute for a noun. So that you don't repeat noun all the time. Or a pronouns stand in place of nouns to avoid repeating it. Huh? If I say to you, Muhammad came and Muhammad said and Muhammad ate and Muhammad read, the brother, it doesn't sound nice to your ear. What I will say, <coughs> Muhammad came and he said, and he ate. Now that makes much easier. And it's nicer to the ear. So the pronouns come instead of nouns so that we avoid repeating it. Okay? Fine. How many kinds of pronouns? Okay? In a different way. Okay, brother? A pronoun that refers or includes the speaker. The pronoun that refers to the speaker. Huh? In English we call it first person pronoun. It refers to the speaker. We call it first person pronoun. Can you tell me, give me an example of first person pronoun? I and we. Huh? Okay. A pronoun that refers to the hearer. Huh? Second person. And then pronoun that refers to somebody who is not in front of us, who is in other room or away, we call it third person. Are you with me, brother? It is amazing in, Urdu, in Arabic language, brother. We always start the pronoun with the third person. We start with third person. And all the verbs uh, in its first form, in the verb, when you take it in its original form, it is always past tense, and it will always say he. It won't say she. Now don't blame me. I didn't invent anything. <laughs> That's the way the language is. It comes with he. When we talk about verbs, we'll, we'll do it. But, it. but in pronouns, we also start with he. Are you with me? Now what is he? It's a singular. It's a third person. And what else it is? Masculine. Masculine. Now brothers and sisters, in Arabic language, either a thing has to be a masculine or feminine. No in, in, in between. <laughs> no. Uh, no in between. Either he or she. Anything has to be pair. Okay. So we start with singular he. Then in Arabic language, Brothers and sisters, we have something very special. Because Arabic is very precise. When you say two, you mean two. Okay? In English, we say he, and then we say they. <clears throat> uh, even if there are two, they, you say they. But in Arabic, if there are two, you mean two, and not three. When you say they, it means Three or more than three. If it is less than three, then it is two. And that is dual. Okay? So we have in Arabic language, singular, huh? and then dual, and then plural. Okay, brother? I'll write down. Huh? Singular, 
and then we have dual and then plural. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Today, we will learn only third person. And then tomorrow, inshallah, we will learn the rest of it. And I've got a small song for it. I'll be singing for the next few days. And that will also hammer in your mind the pronouns, brother. Okay? Now, it's amazing, brother, how the Arabic language is, honestly. This is the palm of my hand. Huh? Four fingers and thumb. And in each finger, there are three sections. Are you with me? Okay. So if I say masculine, then I have first section singular. Dual and plural. Isn't it amazing, brother? I think it is... I should say in the language of uh, our children, it's cool. (laughs) Okay. Number second finger. Let's make it feminine. This was masculine. We make it feminine. So, again, singular. Dual. Plural. So, these two fingers... Peace, these two fingers are for third person. And then the next two fingers are for the second person. Same thing, masculine and feminine. And this thumb, brothers and sisters, this thumb is for first person. But then there are only two sections. So in, in thumb we have only singular and plural. Okay, fine. Okay, brothers and sisters, we start now the third person. It's called What is it called? al ghaib no, Again, those with Urdu, they have an advantage. What is the meaning of Ghaib? He's absent. He's not here. Huh? Okay, which means somebody not in front of us. We are talking about somebody who is not here with us. Third person. Huh? We call it third person. We start with singular. What is the singular, brother? What is it, brothers and sisters? Who? What is next one? Dual. Huma. And what is plural, brothers and sisters? Hum. So he, they two, two, huh? And then they. Okay? Now this is, as you know, it is masculine. Huh? Okay? We call it muzakkar. Okay? And then we come to muannas. Maybe I should write down here. Al Muzakkar. Please write down Al Muzakkar next to it. And then I will write down uh, this is Al Muzakkar, brother. And then I'll write down here Muannas. Okay. And then it will become here. And then, Huma again. And then, Hunna. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? It is Hunna. So what is the difference between uh, Mutakka and Mohannas? Mohannas. Mohannas. Feminine, brother. Uh, Mohannas is feminine. This is masculine, brother. And this is feminine. Now you have the handout. Would you like to go to the handout, brothers and sisters? I think it's page number six or seven. Uh, 
one more, uh, Brother Muhammad. Right there. Page number? Nine. 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 Page number nine. nine. Huh? Okay. Okay, brothers and sisters, here we are. First finger. Just like Tasbih. First section. Hua. Second, second section. Huma. Third section. Hum. Second finger, feminine. Here. Huma. Hun. Is it? If you know it, then I can do the whole thing. But if you want to do it gradually, then we will only do this. Hua, huma, hum. Hia, huma, hun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Hua, huma, hum. Hia, huma, hun. Are you with me? But if you already know a little bit of Arabic, then you know the next one is mukhatab. What is it, brothers and sisters? Mukhatab. Huh? Al mukha. Tab. There is a fata there. This is second person. Huh? And this is your first person. No, third person. I beg your pardon. Third person. Okay. Since you have it in your uh, handouts, brother, it's easy for you to see there. What will be the Second person, brothers and sisters? Masculine? Anta. Are you with me? Anta. Next one? Antuma. And plural? Antum. What will be the fourth finger? Mas- feminine? Anti. Antuma. Antun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? And then? Mutakallim, ana, and nahnu. Because you know it, I'm not writing it, brothers and sisters. But, uh, uh, Sister Salma, do you know the second person? Anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna, and then ana, and then. We got to memorize it. And you got to use your finger, it will help you. Just like taking out tasbih. Huh? Okay, you will remember. Okay, ready? Hua huma hum, hia huma hunna, hua huma hum, hia huma hunna, anta antum antum, anta antum antum. Anti antum antunna Anti antum antunna Ana nahnu Ana nahnu Hua huma hum Hia huma hunna If you want to sing with me, you are welcome to sing, brother. We'll, we'll sing in a chorus now. Inshallah, in a couple of days, you will, <laughs> you will be singing in your car. <laughs> or, uh, you know, while you are taking shower, you will be singing. Hua huma hum, hiya huma hunna. Hua huma hum, hiya huma hunna. Anta antum antum. Anta antum antum. Anti antum antunna. Anti antum antunna ana nahnu ana nahnu huwa huma hum hiya huma hunna huwa huma hum hiya huma hunna hunna got the idea brother okay so huwa Huma hun, hiya huma hunna, anta antuma antum, anti antuma antunna, ana nahnu. Brother, try to memorize it. Okay, try to memorize it. Now, what are these pronouns, brothers and sisters? These are called 
Damirun Munfasilun. What are they? Damirun. It's written there, huh? Padasan. Damirun Munfasilun. Okay, what is the meaning of Munfasilun? They are detached. Like a house which is detached. Nothing attached to it. Detached. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? So they come on their own. They will stand on their own. And brother, all of them are, are you listening? All of them are dun. What are they are? It means they are marfu. They are all marfu. Okay? They are marfu. They will come as a muptada. Most of the time. They will come as a muptada. Huh? Okay? Here is an example. Ana mudarrisun. How will you translate? I am a teacher. I am a teacher. So what is ana? Muptada. Mashallah. Because if you say ana means I, I want to tell you I know that. <laughs> okay? More than that it is muptada. And muptada is always marfu. And it is definite. Are you with me brothers and sisters? So these pronouns are definite. And they are all marfu. There is a different form for mansu. Okay? This form we call it damirun munfasilun. Please say with me three times. Munfasilun. 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 Damirun munfasilun. Means detached pronoun. Standing on its own. And they will come. They are all marfu. They will come as a muftida. Ana mudarrisun. Anta talibun. So what is the translation? You are a student. So what is anta muftida? Are you with me brother? Huwa huwa talibun. He is a student. Are you with me? Huwa talibun. Okay? We won't go into Huma and Hun now. Hum, later on we'll go. But this is how it will work. So first and foremost, brother, you will try to memorize it. It's easy because I will be repeating so many times this thing that inshallah you will catch up. And inshallah you will also uh, uh, memorize the song. So then it will become even more easier on you. I think it's time to take a little break and recharge our batteries, huh? inshallah. So let, let us take a break. So brothers and sisters, I wrote down for you on the board all the pronouns. I only meant to do third person today, but since you all know, I have written it all. Huh? Look at it carefully, brothers and sisters. Al-Ghaib, which is third person. Masculine, al mudakkar Okay? <coughs> right now, if you say masculine, it is good enough. Slowly, slowly, you'll get to say mudakkar also. <coughs> Hua, huma, hum. Please use your finger. It's a nice way of uh, doing it for a few days. Huh? Use your finger. Hua, huma, hum. And then, second finger. Hia, huma, hun. And then we come to al mukhatab which is feminine, masculine, al mudakkar and al muannas and that is anta. See, a, the hamza of anta is hamzatul qata. I put a little neck of hamza on it. It is most important. Okay? If you don't put a fatah, it's okay. But neck is important. Hmm? It's like putting a dot. Uh, neck. Antuma, antum. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And then, anti, antuma, antun. And then we come to al Are you with me, brother? Al the one who speaks. Okay? And that is first person. And in that, mutakallim. First person, both Mudakkar and Muannas are same. 
right now in this lesson dr sahab dr abdur rahim uses only uh, who are here he, he goes he goes very slowly slowly huh? the pronouns will come slowly but i thought we can just practice them every day so that you can become stronger okay one more time i'll sing for you brothers and sisters because i believe this is a nice way of strengthening your uh understanding and 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 memorization brother huwa huma hum hiya huma hunna huwa huma hum hiya huma hunna anta antum antum anta antum antum anti antum antunna anti antum antunna ana nahnu ana nahnu i need a tabla now <laughs> okay are you with me brothers and sisters okay so that was about the pronouns and what kind of a pronouns they are damirun munfasilun what are they damirun munfasilun see say three times with me munfasilun 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 what is the meaning meaning of munfasilun detached on their own detached and remember <coughs> brothers and sisters they are marfu what are they marfu. they are marfu okay you will remember them huh? they'll come as a mubtada inshallah now we come to adars ur rabia lesson number 4 in the main book brothers and sisters we come to the adars ur rabia in the main book <coughs> Look at the first word brother al baitu al baitu what do you see al baitu uh, singular it's singular right now uh, 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 the sentence is not given huh? so it's just an, a, a noun but it is definite so how will you uh, uh, how will you now uh, translate it the how the house and what is next brother fil baiti brother from baitu you made it baiti why ha huh? see from marfu you made it into majrur there has to be a reason why did, how could you do it ha huh? the reason is that before the noun preposition came Uh, sister fatima al baitu remember tu tu <coughs> marfu and now you are saying fil baiti ti ti ha huh? why because preposition came what is it preposition what is called preposition in arabic harfu jarrin yani particle that pulls down Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I'll write down here for you preposition. Means, brothers and sisters, harfu jarrin, particle of pulling down. What did I? What did it do? From two. it pulled it down to t huh who did that sister abi did you do it huh i didn't do it some somebody did it pull it down and that was harf cha so brothers and sisters this is our start of learning the majrur form are you with me so far we were only marfu 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 now we will be majrur will be doing majrur so i will say to you one thing and you will always reply me this way are you with me are you everybody looking at me and listening 
If I say to you, Harfujar, you'll reply to me, Ism Majroor. What will you tell me? Ism Means Ism became Majroor. It became Din. It got a Kasra. Are you with me? It's like salutation. If I say Assalamu Alaikum, you say Wa Alaikum Salam. If I say to you Ism, if I say to you Harfujar, your reply will be Ism Majroor. Are you with me? In the middle of the class, I will suddenly say, Afjar. You will have to say, Isam Majroor. But if I t- tell you, Salaamu Alaikum, what will you say? And if I tell you, Afjar, you will tell me, Isam Majroor. That way you will remember. Whenever, brother, you will never make a mistake in reading Quran. Because you will know it's Afjar, and the Islam has to be Majroor. There is no if and but. That half chair will pull the noun and make it into majroor. Are you with me? So we are learning here. Four, four half chair we will learn in lesson number four. But right now only two are coming. What is fi? In. And the next one is ala. What is on? Are you with me? Okay. Fine brother. Al maktabu alal maktabi. Huh? See? Al maktabu became maktabi. And I ask you why? Because of harfchar. Harfchar, pull it down. Huh? Al masjidu fil masjidi. Okay? Du became di. As sariru alas sariri. See? Brother. Uh, Farooq, how I am pronouncing? As-sariru, alas-sariri. It's a shadda. Alas-sariri. I did not pronounce the... Alas-sariri, I did not pronounce alif, I did not pronounce lam. And in as-sariru, I only pronounce hamza, and I did not pronounce the lam. But if I say alas-sariri, I did not pronounce hamza, I did not pronounce the lam. You will get to get into practice. Okay, brother. Now I will tell you something else. Slowly, slowly. Brother, did I tell you? Did we learn, brother and sisters, that muptada is always marfu. And khabar is always marfu. Now we go one step forward. Khabar is only marfu if it is one word. What did I say, brother? Khabar is only marfu if it is one word. And there are different kinds of khabar. What are they? Are you with me, brother? Because this is an intensive course, I'll, I tell you many things that I would not, normally wouldn't tell. But because we are meeting every day, and every day I'm going to repeat it, and inshallah you will understand it and retain in your mind. So khabar, there are about five kinds of khabar. It will come slowly, slowly, and when they come, I will be pointing out to you. brother. The first form of khabar is if it is one word, it is Marhu. What is the second form of khabar? Second form of khabar is that instead of one word, it has got preposition followed by ism majroor. Hmm? Okay, brothers and sisters. Now, I want you to write something on your book. Huh? You make a note of it. Huh? Right there. Okay. If you see Phil Baiti, brother and sisters, what is P? That I know. <laughs> proposition. You can say for the time being proposition. Later on, you'll say Harfjar. What will you say? Harfjar. Huh? If it is Harfjar, then the ism has to be. Majroor. <coughs> uh, remember, Harfjar is a Majroor. Brother, you got to, 
If I shout at you, you will shout back at me. Harf jar? Isam majroor. You will shout back at me. Harf jar? Isam majroor. Okay? So here we have fi as a harf jar followed by isam majroor. Are you with me? This is isam majroor. Okay? Together we have a short name. Huh? Together we call it Jarun Va Majrurun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Jarun Va Majrurun. Huh? Inshallah, in two, three days, you'll get used to it. So what, if I say fil bayti, I can say fi harf jar, al bayti isam majroor. If I say fil bayti, in short, you can say to me, jarun wa majroorun. What is the meaning of jarun wa majroorun? It means there is a harf jar followed by isam majroor. So you will say jarun wa majroorun. Are you with me? Fine. I know this is quite a bit that I am telling you, huh? but because I will be telling you every day, and inshallah you will understand. Today, if you do not understand 100%, I have always told you, don't worry. Huh? It's normal. It will come to us slowly, slowly. Okay. Now I go back to you one more time, brother. <clears throat> sentence. What is sentence? A group of word which make complete sense. What is phrase? It's a group of word, but it does not give you complete sense. Are you with me, brother? If I tell you, fil bayti, translate, in the house. Is it a sentence? No. no. What is it? Phrase. phrase. What do you call phrase in Arabic? A beautiful thing that you call in Arabic. Huh? Are you ready to write down? Huh? Can you read, brother and sisters? Sister Salma, can you read? Shibhu Jumla. What did I say? Shibhu Jumla. Okay, now Jumla is a sentence. What is the meaning of Shibhu Jumla? Huh? Uh, brother Samad? No, no. Shibhu means something looks like Jumla, but it is not a Jumla. Are you with me? Shibu means it looks similar. But then it is not. It's not a jumla. It's a shibu jumla. It's look, it looks like a jumla. Huh? It is similar to jumla, but it is not jumla. What do you call shibu jumla in English? Phrase. phrase. What do you call phrase in Arabic? Shibu jumla. What do you call shibu jumla in English? Phrase. What do you call phrase in Arabic? Shibu jumla. Huh? So inshallah, slowly, slowly, we will master it. Huh? But that, uh, this is quite a bit. It's not in the book. But I found that if I understand this gradually, gradually, then when I go in the in the deeper water, I'm comfortable. I know how to swim. You know? Okay. So, brothers and sisters... If I tell you, <coughs> Muhammadun fil masjidi. What did I say? Muhammadun fil masjidi. Masjidi. Yeah? Because we came. Huh, Brother Samad? How will you translate? Muhammad is in the masjid. Huh? Okay. So, where is Muptada? Muhammad. Where is Khabar? Master, mashallah, you said it right. So what is khabar? 
شبو جمله what is khabar shibu jumla khabar there is still more to it but that i won't tell you now as you become stronger then i will add few more things so khabar will be in the masjid in the masjid not just masjid in the masjid in the masjid because the whole thing is a shibu jumla and brother how will you say in arabic muhammadun mubtada ha huh? fi harfcha al masjidi ism majrur and together i will write down charun wa majrurun bit today hai together isn't it shubu jumla khabar ha i know it is quite a bit to swallow but it will come because i am going to repeat it all the time ha so if you want to say in short by the samad You already said it correctly. In the masjid is the khabar. What is in the masjid? Char majrur. What is in the masjid? Muhammad. So, from a grammar point of view, jarun wa majrur. And what is brother jarun or majrur in this particular case? It's a shivu jamla. It's a phrase. So, if I were to tell you in English, which you will understand a little better. that in the masjid uh, it is a preposition followed by noun in the genitive case together it is a phrase and it is the predicate what is it brother subject and predicate is it correct subject and predicate where is the predicate in the masjid huh? and what is in preposition and what is masjid It's the noun in genitive case, from our point of view. Are you with me, brother? So now watch for it and catch the khabar. What are you going to do now? You will catch the khabar in the sentences. Okay, let us see. It's going to be interesting. But brother and sister, do not get worried if you cannot find it right away. because i am going to repeat it in so many times uh, are you listening to me brother that it will come out of your both ears so and when you are sleeping and turning your side you will say jarun majrurun you will turn your side and you will say jarun majrurun <laughs> are you with me brother inshallah yes brother farooq shubu jumla shubu jumla say three times shubu jumla shubu jumla shubu jumla which means phrase means it's not a complete sentence it looks like a sentence but it is not a complete sentence it is a phrase yes in the masjid on the table uh in the market under the table over the table behind the board in front of the board these are all shubu jumla huh okay and we'll be dealing it one by one as they come in the lesson yes brother farooq any other question brother you will be with me now brother so you know pronoun and you know the pronoun are definite so they are mubtada and then the khabar can be jarun wa majrur the khabar can be jarun wa majrur okay i want you to brother mohammed keep on turning the pages uh later on uh, you can go to this page at home during weekend brothers and sisters and see if you can understand it uh, turn on the pages and i'll tell you to stop and then we will tell everybody here page number 17, 17 sweet 17 okay page number 17 in your handout but you do not have to swallow everything brother we are going to do slowly slowly what is the the title shibu jumla can you read shibu jumla ha shibu jumla ti shibul jumla ti but we say shibu jumla and what is it the phrase ha and slowly slowly you will we will master this are you with me now keep that in mind and at home you can uh, read it and try to understand but i assure you brother 
I assure you that within uh, 10 sessions, you will know all these things, inshallah. You will know all these things, brother, inshallah. Okay, we now start. Aina Muhammadun. Now, look, is it a question? Yes. We are not going to analyze it. Huh? What is the meaning of Aina? Where. where. Huh? Aina is where. Where is Muhammad? What is the answer? Huwa fil ghurfati. Huwa fil ghurfati. Are you with me, Sister Salma? Huh? Okay, tell me, Sister Salma, is this sentence Jumla Ismiya? Huwa fil ghurfati? Why? Why do you call it Jumla Ismiya? Because it began with a noun. Where is the noun? Huwa. Even though it is Damir, but it is Isam. Got the idea? Uh, I want you to get into this, you know. Huwa fil gurfati. Is it a Jumla Ismiya? Yes. Uh, how do you know it is Jumla Ismiya? Because Huwa is a noun. Huh? Huwa is a noun. Ji? Gurfati, we are coming. We are coming. Okay. Okay, brothers and sisters. Huwa fil gurfati. Okay, fine. What is huwa? That I know. Huwa, what is huwa? Mubtada. We say, when you come to Jumla Ismiya, we want to know where is Mubtada and where is Khabar. But it will be so interesting later on when you will read Quran. And when we will write the Quran and then you will be able to figure out everything. Inshallah. Okay. Al, okay. Huwa. What is fi? Harf jar. And what is al gurfati? Isam majroor. Harf jar? Isam majroor. Gurfati is isam majroor. Sister Fatima, is, are you with me? Fi harf jar. And Harf char will always, always, always be followed by a noun. Nothing but a noun. And that noun is always be majroor, brother. Till the end of the time. This will remain. Okay? Harf char, you are all silent. It's a majroor. <laughs> Harf char, has to be majroor, no other choice. Are you with me? So now we know why the ism becomes majroor. Because one reason is that harfchar came in front of it. And it pulled the down. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. Huwa fil gurfati. And I will say huwa muptada. Fil gurfati. Jarun wa majroorun. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Are you with me? What will you say? I know it is too much. But with intensive course, I take the liberty and give you heavy doses. Huh? Because you will go home and inshallah work. Huh? Again I repeat. Huwa Muptada. It is Damir. Huh? What kind of Damir it is? Damir Munfasir. It is on its own. Huh? Detached. Detached house. Huwa Muptada Fi Fil Gurfati. Now I take the shortcut. Fil Gurfati Jarun Wa Majroorun. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Because if I say Huwa is Muptada, then I got to have a Khabar. And where is the Khabar? Shibu Jumla. Jarun Wa Majroorun. Got the idea? Okay. Brother Abdul Qadar. Gurfati means room. Huh? Gurfati means he is in the room. Fine, brother. وَأَيْنَ Yasirun. Where is Yasir? Huh? And where is Yasir? And. Ataf came. What is the answer? Huwa fil fil hammami. Hammami. Majroor. Huh? Who made it majroor? Fi. Huh? Good. Any question? Huh? No, okay. Feel free to ask. Huh? Okay. The question should be related to the lesson. Huh? If there are questions up outside the lesson, then you will ask me after the class. Huh? 
after the class or during the break, inshallah. Okay. Fil Hammam. Huwa Mubtada. What is the Fil Hammami? Jarun wa Majrurun Shibujumla Khabar. Are you with me? Huh, Brother Muhammad? Fil. Aina Aminatu. And where is Amina? He, yeah, see now, the pronoun change to, to replace Amina, to substitute Amina. Muannas, he, yeah, fill matbakhi. What is matbakhi? Kitchen. She is making biryani for us. He, yeah, fill matbakhi. Okay? Hiya fil matbakhi. Okay, what is hiya, brother? Sheesh. Sheesh. I know that. <laughs> hiya. Mubtada. Hiya, sister uh, Salma, is a pronoun. She. Jumla ismiya. What is hiya? Mubtada. Oh, then, brother, where is the khabar? Fil matbakhi. Charun wa majroor. Are you with me, brother? Jarun, wa, I will repeat this tomorrow also, so you don't worry, brother. Jarun, wa majrurun, shibu jumla, khabar. Got the idea? Inshallah. Brother, I assure you, on Monday when you will come to the class, you will know this so well that you will say, I knew this from my childhood, you know. <laughs> I didn't learn now. I knew it all. I knew it all the time, you know. Okay, fine, brother. Ain al kitabu, where is the book? Huwa, how will you translate huwa this, in this time, brother? Uh, it, it. Huwa alal maktabi, it is on the desk. Huh? So, brother, huwa is muftida. Huh? Uh, where is the khabar? Alal maktabi. And what is alal maktabi? Jarun. Wa majroorun shibu jumla khabar. Shibu jumla khabar. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Very good. Aina saatu. Where is the watch? Aina saatu. Where is the watch? Okay. Where is the watch? Here. Ala sariri. It is on the bed. Where is Mubtada, brother? Here. Where is the khabar? Alas Sariri. And what is Alas Sariri? Jarun wa Majroorun Shibu Jumla Khabar. Isn't it easy, brother? I think it is Halwa Puri. Huh? Uh, if you want to call it Baklava, I don't mind. I like Baklava also. Huh? It's, it's beautiful, brother. You will find, inshallah, you will find uh, all these things very interesting. Uh, I was... I was absolutely fascinated by it when I understood it. When you don't understand, it doesn't fascinate you. But when you understand, it makes a lot of sense, brother. And we will come across verses from the Quran, you know, which will tell us all these things. Okay. Now, I have to point out something to you. If a noun ends with sarkalta or you call it close ta. How many kinds of ta are there, brother? Huh? I will write down here. 